Okay, this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of investments and more specifically, we're going to look at buying shares. So how do we buy shares? Well, basically a person buying a share has to pay what's called the consideration, okay, plus brokerage and GST. So you've got to pay these three things. Now, consideration all right, is the total value of the shares. Okay, so this is basically found by getting the number of shares and multiplying it by the share price. All right, brokerage is the fee that you pay to the share broker or the stock broker. All right, and this is usually given as a percentage of the consideration. All right, so you work out the consideration, then you work out a percentage of that consideration. And then when we're looking at the GST, all right, the GST is basically 10% tax that's applied on the brokerage. So whatever the brokerage is, you then pay an extra 10% on top of that. And we're going to go through an example which will show these three things being added to, uh, to find a total for when you buy shares. So we talked about uh, in the previous slide buying shares and having three different things that you need to buy or that you need to take into consideration. So we've got the consideration, which is uh, basically the amount of shares you're buying at the price. So here we're looking at 1,500 shares at 540 each. So we multiply that to give us our total consideration here. So it's going to cost us $8,100 to buy these shares. But we then need to add in, all right, we're plussing our brokerage fee because it says the brokerage is 2%. So we now find 2% of 8,100. So in order to do that, we go uh, 2%, which is 0 0.02, and we multiply that by 8,100, and that'll give us an answer of $162. So that is the brokerage that we're going to be paying. All right. Um, and then we also need to pay GST on that, so we add our GST in, which is 10% of 162. So again, 10% is 0 0.1. If we times that by 162, then that's gonna give us $16.2, all right? Which is where that value comes in. And then we add it all together, and that gives us our total cost for buying the shares. So buying shares is not just buying the number of shares at the cost of each share, all right? It's actually adding in a brokerage fee and a GST fee as well. Practice question I would like you to have a go at. Um, it's about buying some shares in Qantas. Uh, please feel free to pause the video. Um, once you think you got the correct answer, continue the video and we'll see how you went. Okay, so let's see how you went. We've got our 500 Qantas shares and we're paying $4.80 each, all right? So that's where we get our $2,400. So that's just the shares um, times by the price of each share. But it says we've got a broker fee of $30 flat. So we can just add in our $30. We don't need to work out a percentage for this one. Uh, because it doesn't give us a percentage, it just says $30 uh, flat free, a uh, flat fee, I should say, sorry. But then we had to work out 10% of that $30. So remember, 10% is 0 0.1. We times that by 30. That's going to give us $3. All right, so that's where we get our $3 value from. Now we add it all together, and our cost for buying 500 Qantas shares at $4.80 is actually going to be $2,433.